I wish we could just do it right now. You feel the same way, right? Or is it just me? No, you're right. I can't wait to get married. Good, so I'm not just crazy. No, I'm right there with you on this. Well, it's almost time. Tomorrow will be man and wife. Not that we aren't happy already, but... We're going to be even happier starting tomorrow. Absolutely. Maybe that's why I'm so impatient. I just want to start as soon as possible. <sighs> Two lovey dovey lovesick lovebirds? Rachel? What the? Okay, okay, come on. Back it up. Make some space. Premarital interactions are totally off limits. You should know better, Toki. I know. You are a princess, after all, are you not? You're not just some girl born into a super filthy rich family like me. Show some manners. Uh, well, yeah. I guess you have a point. You have to be more proper and upstanding. Not like this knight that spreads like a weed. Like a weed? Hey there, guys! <gasps> Whoa! Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you okay? Yeah, are you alright, Weddy? Oh, you know, I just tripped. Again. Ow. I was taking a nice stroll with a fairy, and before I knew it, I was whirling through the air. You really need to pay more attention to your surroundings. Plus, there aren't any fairies around here. What would happen if the wedding planner couldn't make it to the wedding she's planning? Yeah. Just... Good morning! Good morning, Enda. Where do you get all that energy? Perhaps you'd like a couple lessons on how to behave like a lady before the wedding tomorrow? <laughs> it's finally about to happen, huh? She totally ignored us, as usual. <laughs> I just have to be patient for one more day and then... Hey! We all know what inappropriate thoughts you have rattling around that brain of yours. Huh? Did the voice of my soul just slip out? Yep. You were totally talking out loud. I can't believe someone just two years older than me is getting married! And you just met, too! Yeah. I honestly didn't see something like this coming myself. By the way, Toki, has anything happened since... you know... No, everything's been fine. Huh? Since what? Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, you haven't told them? No, I didn't want anyone to worry. What happened? Well, about six months ago, I went and saw a psychic in Kamsa Forest. And she told me that someone... That someone was going to die at our wedding. But what are you talking about? What? And did she know you were a princess? Yeah, she did. It's pretty strange for people to actually recognize me. Oh, yeah! Since princesses never appear in public before they're married, huh? Maybe she was just trying to upset you. I really hope you're right.
Y yeah, I'm sure that's it. She totally was, right? I I'm right, right? No freaking out! Toki, are you sure this is the kind of guy you want to marry? Listen, please don't let it get to you. I don't believe a word of it personally. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Wow, his soon-to-be husband is getting cheered up by his soon-to-be wife! I'm just happy they're there for each other, even before they're married. Anyone? <sighs> Okay, Drake, it's almost time for our bath. Oh, man, what I wouldn't give to trade places with Drake right now. Living life as Toki's pet would be like a dream come true. No, oh, Drake is just so darn cute. You think so? I'd say there's more to him than... What? How could you even think something like that? Oh, uh... I, I just meant... <laughs> Damn you! You know exactly what you're doing! I don't see me getting married anytime soon! Hey, come on. You don't know that. People always tell me I have weird taste in guys. What kind of guys do you like? Hmm. Well, I don't really care about being rich or famous. M me either. And I think it's kind of cool when guys are, you know, kind of cold. Huh? But deep down, he should have that boy next door feel with a real passion for something. And he has to love baking cakes. You do like sweets, it's true. So, someone who's cold, but with a boy-next-door passion and likes to bake cakes? Hmm. And he's... Hey, by the way... Yeah? What are you two doing together so early? <gasps> you didn't! Last night, right? Tell me you didn't! Here right before you did. Th then what's this crabgrass doing sprouting up everywhere? This is where we live now. We're getting married tomorrow for crying out loud. Cut me some slack here. You shut up! But I just... Zip it! But... I said shut it! Okay. Hey, but... Yeah? What are you two doing to... I got here right before you did. This is what we're getting married. You shit! But I just zip it. But I said. They say it's gonna be another beautiful day tomorrow. I'm so excited. Me too. Hey, thanks for everything, buddy. I'm really glad I asked you to plan the wedding. Me too. I'm glad you're glad. It's been my. By the way. What do you mean? No, after you're officially married. It's a very important decision. We haven't even thought about it. I'd love it if you called me honey. Honey, huh? Okay. Hi, honey. I can now die a happy man. tomorrow, aren't we? I'm so nervous, but happy. I've never felt this way before. Me either.
So, Toki and I, we're finally getting married. From this day forward, I will love and protect her until my dying breath. Do you swear to be true in good times and bad? To have and to keep her for richer or poorer? To love and to honor her in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you? I do. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> What the? Watch out! Hey! Why? I promised to protect you. Is there any manlier way to go out than this? I think not. I'm 100% awesome right now. A total chick magnet. This is so dumb. Huh? If it had been me, it'd already be over! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what? Toki! <laughs> Toki, I know. She isn't some kind of lady badass. Nothing like this. Who are you? If only you just let me handle this from the beginning. Oh. How can you say that? He sacrificed everything to protect me. Toki? That's more like the Toki I know. You need to just calm down. So, who are you? We can change what happened if we use our power. Power? Oh yeah! If we return to the past! Return to the past? We just need to go back in time and find out why we were attacked. Then we can prevent his death. Right. We need to go back to... Six months ago! The psychic who predicted the attack on the wedding. She must have known something. There was nothing super... I... I have no idea what's going on right now. Nobody can know who we really are. We need to avoid messing with the past as much as possible. Of course. Come on, Toa. Let's do this. Let's. Toa? Time turns upon itself to that fateful moment in time. Alrighty then. Let's get moving. Am I... alive? It can't be. Did we really go back in time? Hmm? Hmm? Well, well, who is this lovely little flower petal? I'm sorry you didn't like my reading, but there's nothing I can do. Besides, it was free. It's not that I didn't like it. Toki! Are you okay? Toki! Everything. It was all just like you said. Hey, Toki! Is that the psychic that told you about the attack? 
Madam, did you know something about what was going to happen? Hello? Hey! Okay, back up. First of all, my name is Makimona, not Madam. Makimona? Oh, that's a pretty name. Second of all, put yourself in my shoes for a second. Huh? I simply told you how I foresaw the attack, and you took off without another word. Then you come stomping back and start in with all this? Oh. Plus, isn't your wedding six months from now? You're talking like it's already happened. Oops. Oh, now I get it. You can control time, being from the royal family and all. Crud. As if. You really think I'd believe a silly urban legend like that? <sighs> anyway, I'll bet you're exhausted. A position like yours must be tough, huh? N not really. Don't let some psychic reading get to you. Especially since mine was just a wild guess. A wild guess? Then it's just a coincidence that it happened to come true? How else would you do a psychic reading? If you know a better way, I'm all ears. Uh, oh, okay. Well, thanks anyway. Okay, Ray, let's head home. Forget about Drake. Why are you ignoring me? Come on, Drake, time to go. Huh? Hey, uh, where is Drake anyway? Huh? Wait, what? Ah! Me? What? No, no, what the hell? <sighs> Hurry up or I'm leaving you here. Well, wait, so hold on. <laughs> what? I'm not actually saying anything.
I do. I'm asking myself the same thing. <sighs> you seem worried too, Drake. I wonder if you can tell that I came back to the past. Can you sense it somehow? Wow. So we really did travel back in time. Now that I think about it, this is about how our place looked six months ago. You don't have anything to worry about, Drake. You're so sweet, Toki. Oh, I know. Why don't we take a bath? Whoa, what was that? Come again? Maybe that'll help you relax a little. That's right. I totally forgot about that. Now that I'm Drake, the possibilities in this particular arena are limitless. Are you home? We're here to check out your new pad! Oh, I forgot I invited everyone over today. We'll get to that bath later, okay, Drake? Whatever you say, Fräulein. I have to make sure they don't find out I'm from the future. Wow! It looks even nicer on the inside! Yeah, it's really amazing. Not bad, I guess. It's a bit more frugal compared to where my insanely wealthy family lives. This must be the first time they've ever been here. Oh, and the little fairy's here too. There's definitely no fairy. Listen, I need to talk to you about something. Ooh, what is it? You can tell us anything. I might be able to offer my advice. If the topic is of sufficient class. Thanks. Well, I just had an interesting conversation with a psychic I ran into. She said my wedding would be attacked by a group of men dressed in black. And someone would die. What? I was just wondering if any of you had heard of a group like that before. Certainly not among the high-class socialites that I associate with. I'm pretty sure I've heard of them. Really? The Masters of Murder! The Assassin's Guild! The Assassin's Guild. A group of professional killers. Another knight told me about them. I had no idea such a terrifying group existed. Yup! I hear you can get in touch with them if you hang around the back alley in Kamsa! Really? 
I guess I'd better go check it out then. What? No! It's way too dangerous! You need to stay as far away from there as possible. Is it really that bad? I guess I've lived a sheltered life. I'm too naive. Well, that can't be helped. Princesses just aren't allowed to go out all that often. Yeah! You've only just started exploring the world. I can take you if you really want to go. Enda, what are you saying? I absolutely forbid you from taking Toki somewhere like that. You have to take me, Enda. I have to see it with my own eyes. No! Do you even know your way around that area? Sure! Not often, but I have been there before. It's kind of scary, but exciting at the same time. Uh, your curiosity's got the best of you, huh? If you really must go, then please be careful. Looks like the Assassin's Guild is our best bet for now. But if it's a group of assassins, we better watch our step. What kind of people are even in a guild like that? Hey, you! Have you seen anyone from the Assassin's Guild around here? Uh, miss, lower your voice. You don't want to start any trouble with those folks. Oh, sorry about that. I did see some of them skulking around earlier, but you should really stay away from them. Got it. Thanks. Down this way? Okay, let's go. Keep your guard up, Toki. We have to be careful. Huh? Is that... My shoulders are so tense. An assassin doesn't get a moment's relaxation. No joke. Someday that promotion's gonna come through, and I'm gonna pound all the steak I can handle, man. Those are assassins? Huh? Hey, do you feel that? Feel it? How can I ignore the hunger pains growing within my belly? No, I'm talking about those people staring daggers at us right now. I have a bad feeling about this. I'm out of here. Hold it right there. <gasps> you two, are you in the Assassin's Guild? They look like a couple of fakers to me. Yep, totally. Hey, how dare you say that when we're standing right here? Yeah, that's real rude, man. Okay, if you're the real deal, then tell me about the attack you're planning on my wedding. How'd you know about that? Yeah, how'd you know about that?
You did it, Toki! Huh? Hold on. Sorry to keep you waiting. Toki? She looks like how she did at the wedding. You knew we didn't stand a chance against you. Just be thankful you're still alive. <laughs> Toki? What is all this ruckus about? She's as tough as a 10-pound breakfast diva. Oh, are you the target of their ire, my little mamacita? Nope, it wasn't me. What? You lie! Sorry, I only speak the truth. May I have the pleasure of your name? I'm Toa. Toa? Toa. I heard her say that name before. You've got guts starting trouble with us. But it seems you know how to fight. Give her the business, boss. You two, take care of her. W what? <laughs> left let me ask you one thing did you come up with a plan to attack the royal wedding how could you how did you know
everything you know sadly I am afraid I know nothing what it's quite odd don't you think that the leader of a group prepared to attack the royal wedding would be defeated so easily he's, he's right. right so what are you trying to say we are not of the assassins guild huh We are, in actuality, no more than members of the Assassin's Guild Fan Club. What? Fan Club? <laughs> Assassins live in darkness and eliminate their prey without mercy. Such is their life. And we... We just wanted to do something half as cool as that. So that's who we are. We're just a friendly trio of fans. What? We're totally separate from the actual Assassin's Guild, man. Yeah, just an unrelated fan club. <sighs> I had no idea you would attack us so. I was ready to say adios to my life. But you said you knew about the attack planned on the wedding. 
I had to. I had no choice if I wanted to look like one of them. Yeah, that was super assassin-y, right? It's basically our go-to answer anytime we get questions like that. How'd you know about that? See? Holy crap, these guys. So what about you guys? Are you like another fan club or a fan fan club or something? I'll kill you. Oh, wait! Spare me, and I shall spill some beans on the actual Assassin's Guild. I don't know what you have going on, but you're in some amount of trouble, yes? Hmm, he might actually be a good guy. Seriously? The members of the Assassin's Guild come from the islands surrounding Kamza, right? He's telling the truth. We are in the fan club, after all. Yeah, we read all the latest issues of Assassin's Monthly. Never heard of it. If you're making all this up, you know what's gonna happen, right? Come now. Would I lie to you? Listen to this guy. And one last thing, if you don't mind. I never thought anyone would make me feel this way. Sleep won't come easily tonight. was pretty assassin-y, was it not? Totally. You were the assassin, man. <laughs> well then, shall we pursue lunch and return home now? Okay, that's it! Oh, ah! You possess a mighty bite! Stop! Please, I surrender! <sighs> Retreat, me amigos! Ricardo's gonna get his someday, I swear. But more importantly... Who in the world is Toa? Enda must be wondering the same thing. Rachel know something about this? Okay, so what's going on here? Yeah, I'm pretty curious too. I'm pretty curious too. Toki and Toa, me, are two separate souls that possess the same body. phenomenon known as dual souls. We've been like this as long as we can remember. Yeah, it's been like that ever since you were little. You knew about all this? Although I'm simply a member of the wealthy elite, she and I have been friends since childhood. Back then, Toa would 
just suddenly pop up out of nowhere sometimes. By the time you two entered the picture, I was consciously trying to keep myself hidden. Why would you want to do that? Having the two of us both appearing made things... complicated. For example, if a boy asked her out, which one of them would go on the date? I guess that makes sense. So... why are you showing up now? I'm... not totally sure. But whenever one of us experiences something, we both know about it right away. Drake seems really surprised too. What the hell are you people talking about? Ah! I think he's trying to tell us he's hungry. Here, you can have this little bug my fairy friend got for- No! I'm not hungry! I thought I was getting married to Toki. Now I have to deal with this Toa girl? Toki's nice and sweet, but Toa's... She won't just wear the pants in the relationship. She'll put my balls in a freaking vice! If I marry Toki, that means I'm marrying Toa too, right? What horrible fate awaits me now? Heavens, Drake. What's going on inside that head of yours? A whole freaking lot! Hey, so, Toa, what do you think about Toki getting married? Good question. Toki was on the outside the whole time, right? Did you two discuss the marriage together? We did. Really? She doesn't seem too happy about it. Anyway, I want to stop the attack on the wedding. That's all that matters. And I'll need everyone's help to do it. For sure! Of course. Ricardo said the guild members could be found on the island surrounding Kamza. I'd like to go check them out. I heard some of them were hanging out on Jaggery Isle. That's right. We did a bit of research on our own. I really appreciate it. I heard there were some on Zucaro Isle. Well, I heard there were some on Penella Isle. Just be careful while you're out there, okay?
We're finally getting ready to face the actual assassins. I hope.
pretty great.
you must be one of the assassins, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm a member of the Assassin's Guild. Whoa, that was easy. I want to know all about your plans for attacking the wedding. Tell me everything you know. Huh? Attacking the wedding? I haven't heard any talk like that back at HQ. HQ? So there's some secret place all you guys hang out at? What? How'd you know about our secret HQ? Uh... Isn't that what you were just talking about? Damn you, vile temptress! You used your feminine wiles to make me spill the beans! Oh, come on... They'll assassinate me if they find out I gave up our secret so easily! Now I have to kill you for what you know! It's a fine day for battle, wouldn't you say? Abide only by the commands of our master. Farewell. No, wait! What about the Babelberries? Where do we find them? How lightly you approach those the rest of us fear and respect. Ricardo! Where the hell did you come from? I had to see you again, Tawa. Toa, but okay. I'd like you to know, I came up with the perfect way to ask for your hand. What did you say? <laughs> oh, Dios mio! What painful strength! It matters not. So, will you inhale and then exhale the same breath with me, together forever? Thanks. No, no, no! What's your problem? Do you hate me or something? Isn't it obvious? Much like your owner, it seems you refuse to go easy on your target. I sure as hell don't. I suppose I shall retire for today. Adios, senorita.
so there's no conspiracy, and the Assassin's Guild headquarters...